Hi friends, welcome to Love and Life's Journey and another day of Vlogmas. So today is the home Christmas decor tour and so I'm going to be showing you the rooms of our home that I have decorated and I will try to tell you about some of the things. I can't tell you about everything obviously or this video would be really long but I will try to point out uh, things that I have DIY videos for on my channel and I will put the links for those in the description box below. If you see something that you're curious about, uh, please leave me a comment, whether it be something that looks handmade or store-bought and you want to know where I got it, uh, that's great. I'll answer as many of those questions as I can, but just leave that in the comments below. So let's get started with our Christmas home tour. So first we're going to start in the kitchen and I don't put a lot out on the counters. Uh, I do usually hang this little gingerbread book that Emily painted for me when she was 10 years old. And if you look to the right, you can see she's sitting in the chair in the living room. She's 20 years old now. I also have this dishwasher magnet that I got. I think I got it from LTD Commodities. I really like that. And then, of course, my little hot cocoa bar that I made in a DIY video. That link will be in the description box below. And this little winter blessings tea kettle with the snowman in it. I got that at a holiday bazaar sometime. Let me turn off the light so you can see a little bit better. It has greenery and some berries and a cute little snowman in it. So I'm standing on a stool now so I can show you how I decorate on top of the cabinets. Most of the decorations in the kitchen are on the top of the cabinets. I always put this greenery and these colored lights all around the cabinets and then just miscellaneous uh, Christmas things that I've collected over the years. A lot of them were made by my mother-in-law or myself and so I just kind of switch them up um, every year and put different things out. And one trick I use when I'm decorating is to use different textures and try to mix them up. So you'll see I have wood things next to fabric things, next to metal things, and I just try to kind of switch it up to make it more interesting. And you'll pretty much see through this that my style is more country farmhouse. So uh, now we're going to go from the kitchen into the hallway and this is the hallway that leads to our laundry room and uh, I always put this little fiber optic tree here in the hallway. It just uh, kind of brightens it up and um, is some nice color and lights. Now we're going to go into my laundry room slash mud room slash really the friends and family entrance to our house. So that's why I decorate it because a lot of people come in this way. And so here's the little tree that I made in that buffalo check cube from Dollar Tree. That will be in a video link below. as well as this little Christmas countdown days till Christmas. I think those are in the same video. A lot of the things in this room are DIYs that I have done. So this red truck sign is one that I did last year. I will have that in the description box. The snowman chalkboard was a gift from a friend. This large cone tree I actually got at Hobby Lobby this year and it was my inspiration for making these two smaller trees and so I have a DIY video on how to make those using Dollar Tree items. The Let It Snow wreath is from last year in a DIY video. 
as well as that little joy sign made with the embroidery hoop. The Santa Night Light was a, one of a set of three I picked up at Costco and then this DIY using that Mary sign from Dollar Tree was a fairly recent one that I just did a few weeks ago. This big lantern and snowman uh, were both purchased uh, quite a while ago. I don't even remember where I got them. And then I put some items up on the shelf up high, a window I painted, and then there is a DIY video for that little gnome and that Christmas tree. Those are all Dollar Tree products. And then also that peace sign on the very top cabinet. I have a DIY video for that as well. Now we're headed into the dining room. And I just have to thank my viewers who recommended putting that buffalo check tree skirt underneath the tiered tray. I think it looks great that way. I think Arvella was the first one and several others of you suggested it as well. I really like that. So thank you. On the wall I have some calendar pictures that I put in these 12 by 12 frames that I can switch out for the different seasons. And this little hanging bucket on the wall is from Ikea. So many people ask me about that because they really like it. It is one of my favorites too. And I just put some greenery and lights in it. Then below that I have a little Santa made by my mother-in-law and then a little galvanized bucket and some greenery and lights in that with a little sign and that's a DIY uh, video as well. And that snowman stand was from LTD Commodities. On top of my china cabinet I have some holly berry greenery. Those I picked up at Dollar Tree last year. And this cute little snowman and Santa are both made by my mother-in-law. And then this snowman Advent calendar or Christmas countdown is one of uh, my daughter Emily's favorite things. In fact, she wants to inherit this and it has the little stars inside of his hat that you put on the little nails each day. And I made this years and years ago. It's just made out of a big block of wood and then a little box on the top. And so that was a really fun thing to make. I actually made those and sold them at a Christmas bazaar years and years ago. And above our sliding door I have some greenery with some poinsettias and lights and then I have this cute little wood snowman garland that I made quite a while ago as well. So as you can tell I like more of the traditional Christmas things. I'm not all about like designer things. I like homey and things that have memories and meaning and so that's how I decorate. And these two little snow people are two of my favorite. My mother-in-law made these. Their names are Sir Walter and Penelope and I think they are adorable. And then I have a cute little snowman lamp on the little table in front of them. And that little table is actually the mosaic table that I made in a DIY video and I just threw a piece of Christmas fabric over it. I added some Christmas florals to these um, galvanized buckets, tins, I don't know what you call them, but wall pockets, I don't know. Uh, and I really like those. I do have a DIY video for how to paint something uh, with that galvanized technique. So if you want to know how to paint things to make them look galvanized, check out that video. And I love this little snowman that hangs up on the wall. From the dining room, we're going to go into the living room and this is where we have our keepsake tree. This is a smaller tree that has more of our family ornaments on it. And this is kind of the room where we hang out when we have company or when we just want to sit by the fireplace.
So like I said, this is more of our keepsake tree. It's a smaller tree because I don't really have a lot of room in here for a big tree. But this was a scrawny looking tree. It's really old. It's pre-lit and the lights mostly didn't work. I made this tree look a ton better. Here are some tips and tricks for you. I took some old garland that I had and I wound it around inside the tree to fill it out and then I added uh, more strings of lights so that it had more lights on it and then another trick is to use the deco mesh from Dollar Tree and to kind of wind around and fill in any bare spots I like the deco mesh because you can see through it so the lights still shine through it and it just really adds to the tree. You probably saw me putting out this little Christmas village in my video a few days ago when I was decorating and I gave you a sneak peek. I put these out on the antique organ every year and just a interesting fact about this organ, it belonged to my great grandmother my grandfather bought it for her when he was 16 years old. They had moved out here to Idaho from Nebraska and she could not bring her organ with her. She was very sad about that. So when they got to Idaho, he got a job and he bought this organ for her. This is the front entry to our house. And when you come in, I have this wooden candy cane that says Merry Christmas. It has all these lights and greenery on it. I got that as a gift and I think it's really cute and then I have some more things that my mother-in-law made most of the fabric things were made by her and most of the wood things uh, I made this is our nativity it's a department 56 brand I've had it for quite a while um, I really like it I kept my little photo ladder out that has all the pictures of my nieces and nephews. This is a DIY that I made out of Dollar Tree products. I'll link that video as well. And then I just put out uh, some cute Christmas items next to it. In the hallway I have my Christmas card garland and I also have a countdown snowman. His nose turns so you can count down the days. This little lighted Christmas scene in the tin is one of my favorite DIYs and it's one of my most popular. I will put that video in the description box below. It's made all from Dollar Tree items. Here's Cece laying in the top of the cat tree. She's a little annoyed because I'm interrupting her nap. And this is our fireplace and our mantle. And you probably have seen this in the video I posted just a couple of days ago for the DIY stocking holders that you see here. Now we're going to go into the last room of the house that's decorated. This is our family room and it's where we watch movies together and it's our Disneyland room or our Disney room and that Mickey wreath is one that I made last year and so this is where our big Christmas tree is this is our main tree and where we put our presents just because there's more room in here and it's nice to have the big tree when we're watching Christmas movies and I do have some decorations in here that aren't Disney they're just kind of regular Christmas decor this light is from uh, Ikea and then I have some more 
of the things that my mother-in-law made as well as uh, that lighted basket that I made. I made the Mickey topiary last year in that same video that I did the the Mickey wreath and had to have my little alien popcorn bucket and of course even my little droid has his little Santa hat on and that joy pillow next to him is one of my DIYs as well Above the antique radio, I have this sparkly, merry, and bright sign. I think it's perfect to go right above my little Disney Castle countdown and because it's got that kind of blue, glittery look as well. The little teapot lamp I got at a craft bazaar last year, and Chris bought me the Mickey and Minnie Days Until Christmas Castle last year when we were in Disneyland. Unfortunately, when we got home, we found out that the blocks were not correct and I couldn't count down all the days, so I had to make a new set of blocks for it. And here is my mailbox DIY. I have that video in the description box below. It's one of my favorites. Here's another fun fact, that old radio my grandpa also purchased. He paid $16 for it at a furniture store that was also a mortuary. And I have the original receipt for it. So new this year on top of our Disney tree is a Mickey and Minnie tree topper. And then we just have all of our Disney ornaments or ornaments that could be like characters from Disney movies, like we had some penguin ornaments, so we put those on this tree because they could be like from Mary Poppins. Those Mickey and Minnie snow globe ornaments are a DIY that I did last year. And a lot of these ornaments are actually Emily's ornaments, so when she moves out of the house and takes them with her, I'm going to need some new ornaments for my Christmas tree. So that is pretty much my Christmas decor home tour. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I decorate my house for Christmas. I am certainly not an interior decorator or designer. I just do what I like and put out things that have meaning to our family. And so I hope you enjoyed seeing that. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, check out all those links in the description box for all those DIYs. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed day.